From Channel 3, this is an Eyewitness News update. Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining us for a look at some of the day's big stories. Connecticut's new vaccine law already facing some legal challenges. The law eliminates the religious exemption for childhood vaccines, and Governor Lamont signed it into law Wednesday, making Connecticut the sixth state to do so. Soon after, though, two lawsuits were filed, one in federal court, the other at the state Supreme Court. Those against the law feel it's unconstitutional and argue children should not have to get vaccinated in order to get an education. My family is uh, immediately impacted by the passing of this bill. My two older boys are thankfully grandfathered in. However, my pre-K daughters are not. They are also special education. They have IEPs and that protection is a federal protection. They admit there's no emergency. What they're saying instead is that we have to be proactive because of what we, we've seen with COVID. So we have to be proactive about some hypothetical future emergency. The new law will take effect in the 2022-2023 school year. Students who currently have religious exemptions will be grandfathered in. Two of the state's utility companies could face penalties for how they handled Tropical Storm Isaias, and that could eventually lead to lower bills for customers. State regulators say Eversource and United Illuminating weren't prepared for the storm last August. It left more than a million homes and businesses without power for days. Pura blasted the companies for not responding fast enough. Eversource released a statement saying in part, quote, we stand by our response in Storm Isaias, as we know our thousands of employees showed skill and dedication in restoring power to customers as quickly as possible. All right, our Thursday across Connecticut will feature some spotty showers in the morning. The rain becomes more widespread, filling in across Connecticut through the afternoon. Could be moderate to heavy at times. Can't rule out some rumbles of thunder. By, that's all, by the time it's all said and done early Friday morning, we could see half an inch to an inch of rain, some perhaps locally higher amounts. Friday features some clearing but windy conditions. Saturday, blustery, low 60s, partly to mostly sunny, back near 70 inland on Sunday. Even warmer weather on tap for early next week with another chance for rain, possibly some thunderstorms coming later in the day Tuesday with a cold front knocking temps back into the 60s by next Wednesday.